Hey guys, iMovie How To here, and today I'll be showing you the iMovie 10.0.7 update. So the first thing that's new in this update is these interface buttons here. So now you can play and pause your project, navigate through clips here, perform a voiceover, and trigger full screen mode without actually having to go into any of these menus here. They're now just on, always here on the bottom of your viewfinder. So the next thing that's new in this update is the integration of the, the new Photos app which I'll cover more in depth in a later video, so subscribe for that. But basically this new Photos app replaces iPhoto with something more like the Photos app on iOS 7. And with this new iMovie update, the files from the Photos app show up as a new item on the sidebar here. So I can click on where it says Photos Library here, and it has the pictures and videos you import in the Photos app. This clip selection area works basically like the iPhoto import screen, including having access to all the different categories in the Photos app, like years, albums, collections, and moments. See if more sorting options. So it works just like the end of iPhoto, except that it works on the new Photos app. Basically, the other things in this update are pretty minor. One of the things is that iMovie now includes support for the Sony X AVC-S video format, and there's also just the normal bug fixes. Thank you for watching this update video. If you'd like to see more update videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.